Good morning. Happy Monday. It's a brand new work week. <laughs> All right. Um, I really didn't want to do this because I hadn't finished the research on it. But I think what I uh, what I did notice was the uh, I think I saw enough. Um, Prager you, Prager you kids. It's just downright stupid. Um, the videos that I saw was uh, exactly what the complaints were about. Uh, rewriting of history through a certain point of view. As opposed to just sticking to the facts. You know. Um, the Civil War wasn't about slavery. You know. There's a certain truth to that. But slavery was the big thing there. You <laughs> know. Slavery had its major part in it. Technically, it was about money. Slavery was the excuse to topple the other, um, the other half of the country, and uh, and knock it out in order to keep the southern uh, South part from getting rich and rich and more rich and all this stuff off the backs of slaves, you know. Slavery is the key component to the Civil War, though. The sole thing is is money and power. It, it, that's what war usually is, you know. But for for historians to say that it wasn't about slavery, to try to eliminate it altogether, that's just wrong, you know. Uh, same thing with um, uh, bigotry, you know. Bigotry is based off of a belief. It's a viewpoint that's based off of a belief. And those that use it to their advantage are the ones that want to ascertain power or keep it. We all know this. These are all rules of thumb to dictators for crying out loud. <laughs> um, <clears throat> the trannies thing. I didn't really catch the full uh, what you got. I just read the complaints. I didn't actually see the... Uh, the videos, uh, but I read the complaints to it. Guys, this is kids be following Satan by listening to Ozzy Osbourne all over again. Okay? In my day, Ozzy and Slayer and Metallica, they were all uh, uh, leaders to hell. Okay? They were all influences to rejecting Christ and loving Satan. Okay? Which is just bullshit because I'm still a Christian to this day. And if they're lucky, I acknowledge the fact that I'm Christian through the Catholic denomination. <laughs> if they're lucky, they'll get that uh they'll get that recognition. I I give them their props, you know. Look, I'm sorry. It's it's still just stupid. And don't get me wrong. The videos that I've seen broadcasted throughout the news where a guy goes to a school, does a reading uh, and all this stuff, a trainee does that, plays some music and teaches the kids to romp their butt, you know, romp their butts and, and all this other stuff, you know, to, to uh, what do you call it? Dirty dance. Okay. Dirty dance or dance like a stripper or whatever, you know, shake their butts and, and, and stick them out and all this good stuff. You know? okay. okay, that's borderline inappropriate. In fact, it, it more than likely is inappropriate because if it was a straight heterosexual man telling kids, come on, kids, dance this way where you're sticking at your ass and shaking it, you know. Um, in fact, there was a movie called Cuties where kids were doing that uh, for a dance competition. You know, and I think that was the way that they justified themselves. The filmmakers and all the producers justified it by saying, well, it's not about kids getting dirty. It's about the fierce competitions and all this other stuff. And um, no, we got that, but it, it was still inappropriate, you know. So to to regulate is fine. I think regulate and, and set some boundaries is fine. Uh, to go on and demonize, however, that's just downright stupid. It's bigotry. And it leads to the most idiotic... Excuse me. I've been drinking a lot of soft, soft drinks lately. <laughs> yeah. 
it's it's been leading to a lot of accusations that are just plain demonizing. It's heavy metal all over again. It's it's rap music all over again. Okay, um, it's watching uh, B movies all over again. I remember, you know, B movies. A B movie is is basically not an, a top A listed movie. It's just shy because it's focused only on three things. One of three things, if not all of them. Breasts, blood, and beast. If it doesn't have any one of those, it's not a, a movie in accordance to B-making, B-movie makers, you know? So, you know, but there was a huge, huge stigma to it that those kind of movies is what's promoting violence. It's what's promoting sexual uh, trespasses. It's... You know, it's making everybody comfortable with the idea of monsters in their neighborhood, in their lives, in their city, in their town, in their neighborhood, even in their family. Okay. N that all being said, as a guy that used to listen to Ozzy, I've never killed a little animal or much less ripped it off with my mouth, ripped off its head with my mouth. You know, I've never bitten the head off of one, you know. You know, I've never prayed to Satan, despite the fact that I'd list, I used to listen to Slayer, mostly because I've also listened to uh, Christian groups. Okay, Vengeance Rising, you know, Striper, uh, Trouble, and uh, White Cross, which I thought was kind of racist for, for at first, but yeah. Um, thing is, is you know, and and also you know. Also, uh, as a guy that saw the Friday the 13th, that saw, you know, the Halloween, that saw the Freddy Kruegers and all that stuff, not once did I ever develop an appetite for murder, homicide, you know. And I, and I can state this because I also used to watch, speaking of homicide, I used to watch Miami Vice. I used to watch Hill Street Blues. I used to watch T.J. Hooker. You know, not once did I ever think I'm going to be a cop, you know, and, and, and you know, notify a homicide whenever somebody gets killed, uh, you know, and, and maybe shoot a couple of criminals myself. OK, I always found it entertaining, but I've never pushed I've never placed a badge on me. I've never tried to get a badge. Uh, I never went to schooling, never went to training, never did any of that. OK. Never did that. Never prayed to Satan. Okay. Um, it's all, and the re main reason for this is because it's all about the choice. In the end, it's all about the final decision that you make. But back to Prager U, where this all started, the decision that's being made is to influence kids under a propaganda. You know, what they say is being anti woke. Um, Here's the thing, and the reason why I wanted to hold off on this is because I wanted to do some more research on it to see if it was true. It said that PragerU and PragerU Kids is actually funded by some oil company execs, CEOs or something like that. Uh, somebody that backs up the corporate greed that's responsible for drilling on native soil, holy uh, sacred native soil, that's responsible for drilling in wildlife preserves. That's responsible for offshore drillings that, you know, where leaks and all that stuff just pollute and contaminate our our oceanic waters. Um, it's said that these CEOs for the oil company and all that are also the reasons for all the uh, illegal frackings, you know, which I understand it's a method of uh, getting some oil, uh, pulling drilling oil. But to be doing it to where it's endangering the surrounding community is a problem, you know. Um, that's old news. But what is still needs to be researched is the fact that PragerU and all them are, are done by people who are doing these illegal kind of fracking jobs and everything like that. And why is that a concern? Well, because it's, it's uh, a group of people that are already accustomed to bending rules, <clears throat> deregulations, 
and in the name of their own personal viewpoints that is said to be good for America, regardless of the fact that as to whether or not it is or isn't, and therefore it is, but it's still, it's good for America, therefore there's nothing wrong in it. And when you got that kind of mentality, you know, and you try to use it to influence over people, you can connect the dots. You know, slavery wasn't about, uh, civil war wasn't about slavery. These trannies are bad. Those people are bad. Um, also, I think Islam, you know, is Islam a holy uh, religion or something like that? Is it a safe religion? And of course, the only thing that they focused on was the suicide of bombers, which don't get me wrong. That's very serious. But if you take a look at your religious history, particularly religious hate crimes, you'll find that it's not just those of Islam that are committing them. You know, some of them are of our own faith, the, you know, my own faith my own Christian faith. I remember before 9-11, actually before 9-11, before around the time of the uh, New York bombing in 1993, 92, I think, people were more focused on the violence attacks that Catholics versus Protestants were doing in the UK. Okay? Now, it's been overshadowed a lot by the Islamic terrorists for the past 20 years. And rightly so, it's, you know, it's it's a terrorist, international terrorist organization who are using God, or as I should say, Muhammad or Allah to, to back up their hate. Okay. Now for this, uh, app Prager and Prager you Prager you and Prager you kids to make that the focus like it's just them you know that's wrong it's obviously wrong we all know this so it's a huge concern that I have to vent about them putting in our schools on film day and stuff like that and I get I get it but here's the thing here's the thing what parents need to do is remind their kids that those films that they're watching are not educational films. They're opinionating films. And then to top it all off, they're boring ass films. Because I remember film day, you know, as far back as elementary school when we watched The Lord of the Rings, you know, and it was the 60s version. So the, the, the visual effects sucked <laughs> by comparison. But we got a chance to see that. You know, we got a chance to see uh, the Alamo starring John Wayne, you know. Um, we got a chance to see um, stories, periodic historic stories um, throughout the times as well. We even got to see a Walt Disney film version of uh, the American Revolution, you know, which just plain sucked. Uh, but nevertheless, it was... It was all entertaining by comparison to today's films through PragerU and PragerU Kids, where it's about defending slave owners. You know, Christopher Columbus, hi, we heard you were a bad person. Hi, caramba, look, I'm a slave owner, but so is everybody else. You know, that's a film that teachers are going to be put in, presenting to their kids, which is just downright stupid, you know. Um... Uh, Claiming that everybody else did bad shit, so, you know, why are you judging me? You know, that's just downright stupid. Um, and we're not, technically, those of us that are, are trying to abolish the idea that slavery was a good thing or it just happened because it was just normal. Those of us that, the, that's not the point. The point is, is that slavery is wrong. Plain and simple. That's the idea. Examples. Well, factual examples are people like Christopher Columbus. And for the record, we were only told that he was a slaveholder. I had to do research to find out that he was a child rapist, that he liked butchering and slaughtering animals, and that he loved stealing. 
he loved stealing from villagers the the gold and all this good stuff gold jewels whatever materials resources you know that also was the norm and these days it should be pointing out that that's not the right thing to do that it's wrong but that's not what Prager University is doing. Prager U and Prager U Kids is defending the acts, or at least normalizing it, so that way nobody thinks that it's wrong. Okay? And that in itself is wrong. And that in itself is wrong to be pushing that idea, especially from people who have been doing it in defense of their companies that has been doing, uh, that has been producing oil illegally and just plain wrong <laughs> so you know and again I wanted to do a, a far more serious in-depth research thing but for right now I just gotta say that it's it's wrong you know I gotta vent this out it's just downright stupid to do and to top it all off it's cheap once again it's cheap it's influential and it's brainwashing into into normalizing uh, um, the actual living demons as opposed to what everybody thinks turns you into a demon you know the actual demons of history as opposed to what everybody thinks turns you into a demon okay and it sucks I tell you I feel sorry for this generation they've been had they're being cheated we had entertaining we had faces of death you know most of it was staged you know, the one where the parachute doesn't open and the guy bounces off of the ground, that's very sad. You know, historically, that film is to be, used to be teaching you to be a whole lot more safer. Gun uh, injuries, you know, from playing with guns, those photos, they were shocking, but they were meant to scare you into being a safer person. Defending a, a historical icon of America by saying, well, everybody else was slave owners. You know, I mean, come on. <laughs> you kids are being cheated, man. You got to tell your kids that PragerU and PragerU kids is not educational. It's influencing you to believe a bunch of crap developed by people who who come up with a bunch of crap excuses for their bad doings that they are doing in this particular case through the oil and fuel industry that's the ugly truth of it okay that's the ugly truth of it the entertaining part of it is when the law finally catches up to them and they are over there making up a bunch of excuses in the court of law you know, like the way Trump, everybody's saying, oh, no, the world's coming to an end and it's rigged and all this stuff. They might be right. I don't think so, but they might be right. And even if they are, so what? It's entertaining to watch somebody up in those high ranks sweat. It's entertaining to see them fucking get nervous. It's entertaining to see them break out with, oh, this is a witch hunt. This is a witch hunt. <laughs> It's freaking hilarious for some for somebody like me that grew up with the tabloids. You believe it will print it. You know? An alien pregnant uh, got me pregnant and stuff like that. <laughs> um So yeah, you know, along with the along with the messed up retarded along with the messed up stupid stuff, you know. Man has sex change then goes lesbian. <laughs> Um, you know, we grew up where it was very entertaining. Unfortunately, these kids are growing up where they're met, where they're told to believe. Okay, and that's just wrong. That also is wrong. That in itself, that dumbing it down and overshadowing what I look at when I see Prego U and Prager um, University, uh, Prager U kids. You know. That ugly reality, generalized ugly reality, is is really what it's about. It's just, you know, they're not making it entertaining. They're making it 
uh, a brainwash, you know. They're, they're not making it entertaining. They're making it an influence to where it's designed to make you believe. make Well, make your kids believe. If you're a full-grown adult and you watch PragerU and PragerU kids, you've got no excuse. You're just, you're about as sharp as a bowling ball. You know, you're just obviously as dumb as a bag of rocks to be listening and believing that opinionaries are fact, okay? The opinionary uses facts. Everybody was slave owners. But an opinionary is the part where it says, why are you judging me? Don't judge me. Everybody did this. Okay? You're as dumb as a bag of rocks if you think that's valid history. You know? If you think it's okay to have sympathy for the devil mentality. You know? And again, you're shortchanging our kids with this opinionary brainwash influence crap. This is history and you will believe it. No, dude. You're opinionary and you may say something that's factual, but your influence is just total bull crap. The stuff that you're peddling isn't focused on historic facts. It's focused on influencing something to be- make you a- make my kid a believer. And that's just wrong. Prager you, wrong. Prager you kids, wrong. And every state that has put it into our schools is wrong for doing so. Okay. Uh, and that's, that's really the, that's all that I got to vent about it. I'm sorry it took so long to get through it. And that I had to through it through all these different angles and stuff and bring up my own past about how I was demonized as a, as a Satan worshiper just for jamming to, to some hard rock, you know. Um, but, you know, I mean, it's, it's, it's got to be vented out, you know. I got I to gotta say it. Uh, when I get more uh, um, actual research done, I'll, I'll definitely be able to come out with a whole lot more solid uh, leg to stand on why I'm, you know, preaching from a chair, so to say. Uh, and what right I have into throwing my voice out there concerning the subject. But for right now, uh, the little stuff that I've seen, the generalized stuff, that I, uh, data that I've picked up, it's it's actually very, very concerning. And uh, I hope everybody out there, you know, does their best not to support this. And if we really don't have any control over it, because like here in Texas, Greg Abbott has got together with his... Uh, education administrator and they're permitting it and they're they're suggesting that it be used in our schools fine but as parents I'm hoping that we can all say try not to follow Prager U because it's not factual or complete factual and worst of all it's an influencer to make you believe what they want you to believe as opposed to believing in the facts, the actual historical facts, and only that. Somewhere down the line, um, these teachers and school people are blurring these responsibilities and and personal um, personal attempts in what they view as good education good education you know they're blurring them and that's that's a problem so um i'm gonna try to uh cut it right here before i just keep on and keep on and keep on venting i don't want to do that i don't want to take up to all y'all's too much time i just want to let you know all of you out there you're not alone in seeing something wrong with this the little that i've picked up i am very very concerned over and uh, I hope it's a problem that we can all get over quick. Um, but even if not, it's it, it's obviously something that we can tough out. Okay? Uh, you're not alone. You're just not alone in thinking that there's something wrong with this. Um, y'all take care. Y'all take it easy. This is Chris, Chris Comments signing out.